By the end of this year, a wage board is expected to put together recommendations on overtime pay for farm workers across the state. But ahead of the recommendations being made, several farm groups are advocating for the overtime threshold to remain at 60 hours. News Channel 34's Karina Capabianca has more. The threshold to remain at 60 would be a lot more favorable than it being lowered to 50 or even 40 hours. Um, that's really, really tough to handle. Kirsty Northrup is a fourth generation farm owner. At Lawnell Farms in Livingston County, her team crops about 3,400 acres and milks 1,800 cows. This year, since the Farm Laborers Fair Practices Act went into effect, requiring farm workers to get paid overtime after working 60 hours per week or if they work on their day off, Northrop's farm is paying 50 hours of overtime pay a week. Advocates of the law say it benefits farm workers and gives them more protections. But farm owners say if the overtime threshold is reduced further, it will hurt family businesses. If the new labor law changes and the threshold goes to 50 hours a week, we would pay about roughly 150 hours of overtime in a week if our schedule did not change. And if the threshold got lowered to 40 hours a week, we would be paying 330 hours of overtime in a week without scheduling changes. Northrop says the pandemic has been especially difficult on farms. As a member of the Northeast Dairy Producers Association, she's gotten behind a letter signed onto by several other farm groups asking the governor's office to keep the overtime threshold at 60 hours. Northrop says weather also presents challenges. We're not like California. Um, we can't harvest our crops 12 months out of the year. We don't have that luxury in New York State. The wage board's recommendations are due by December 31st. After that, the labor commissioner has 45 days to take action on them. In Albany, Karina Capabianca.